Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Brittany and I thought that today I would bring you guys a really simple holiday keto treat and I'm coming at you guys today with two awesome recipes that I found. One of them being a holiday chocolate cookie with frosting and a chocolate cheesecake bite. So I'm going to start off with the ingredients that I have here. I've got a swerve granular, a swerve confectioner sugar, almond flour, eggs, unsweetened cocoa powder, ricotta cheese, baking powder, a little bit of salt, I'm gonna preheat my oven to 350 degrees and I'm gonna go ahead and line this baking sheet with parchment paper. This part is really important. And then you're gonna wanna mix everything together for the cookies. You're gonna wanna start out by blending your eggs together, then adding your sugars and your almond flour to the bowl and mixing that all in with the unsweetened cocoa powder, the baking soda, and you're gonna add in that ricotta. The ricotta really makes this cookie nice and creamy, and I absolutely love the way that this came out. I've only ever used ricotta in like lasagnas and things, so I was really excited that that was the ingredient that was called for in this cookie, and I was surprised because ricotta is a really mild flavor, so it does not taste cheesy at all and it just gives these cookies like a real richness. Now these don't necessarily look that great when you put them on the pan or when you bring them out of the oven, but I promise you they taste delicious. Next you're just gonna whip up the cream cheese. You're gonna use about four ounces of cream cheese with heavy whipping cream. You're gonna add the confectioner sugar and some vanilla extract and you're just gonna blend that together until it's nice and smooth and thick it's going to look just like ice cream icing and it's going to taste like icing too. And then you just want to spoon this onto your cookie. Now you can get really fancy with it and use like a pastry dispenser um, or like a frosting dispenser thing, but I just used a spoon because I just didn't care. <laughs> I could have made a better presentation, but still these cookies made up for their mishap and looks with how they taste. This recipe specifically called for low carb sprinkles, but I didn't have any low carb sprinkles. So what I did was is I took some of the leftover frosting that I had and I mixed it with two different uh, food coloring. So I did red and green and this made it a holiday cookie that kind of resembled having holiday colored sprinkles on top. I love the way that this turned out and these are really delicious again. I store them in an airtight container in my refrigerator and they are just a really nice snack when I'm ready to go to something sweet. Let me know down in the comments what your favorite dessert is during this time of year. I know this is like the worst time of year trying to stay healthy when there's all of these holiday treats surrounding you. So I hope that these two recipes can be a hit at your next holiday event. Let me know below though, what are your favorite, favorite, favorite treats to eat during this time of year? Because I kid you not, there's probably a keto alternative that you can make. Look at that. So yummy you guys i'm not even kidding next i'm going to make the, the keto cheesecake peanut butter balls and i'm just going to mix together literally the swerve sugar some peanut butter and some cream cheese it's literally that easy i'm going to mix this until it's all incorporated and then i am going to roll them into little golf size balls this recipe says that it'll yield 12 servings but i think i got about seven servings in this and I'm gonna take those Lily chocolate chips and I'm gonna go ahead and crush them to kind of make it like a candy coating, if you will. And I just roll that out with rolling pins and I'm going to take my golf size ball cheesecake bites and I'm gonna roll them up and I'm gonna dip them into the chocolate chips. And then once I'm done with this, I'm going to go ahead and place them in the freezer for about two hours so that they'll be a nice frozen treat. And I do store these in the freezer as well. And these are so good, you guys. They taste just like a peanut butter cheesecake bite. And they're delicious. I almost feel like I'm cheating on the keto diet when I indulge in these keto fat bombs like this. 
It's just so incredible to me that I can have such great tasting things and still stay within my macros for the day. And I am a real sweetaholic, so I always have to have a little something sweet after lunch and dinner. So these are just the perfect things. I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, please make sure that you give it a thumbs up and I'll catch you guys in my next one. Bye.